housing is up 165% since the year 2000. Well, since the year 2000, it's up another over 20%. So 20% of 165 is another 32%. So we're close to 200% up since the year 2000. But one of the factors affecting housing here is our homes that we live in are tax-free. And in, 19, in 2006, clear title housing in our region owned by over 55 year olds was 66 billion. Today, there's over $400 billion in clear title housing owned by over 55 year olds. And 114 billion of that is owned by over 75 year olds. So that's money that's being transferred by the living as opposed to transferred, transferred traditionally uh, in, through, through estate planning. And then you look at the pressures of, on construction that we can't get away from. Even if, if Minister Eby could interfere in municipalities and approve 100,000 homes right away, how are we going to build them? There's 9% uh, job vacancy rate in our construction industry. At lunch today, all I'm hearing from developers is they can't get steel, they can't get concrete, and the prices of, of, of wages, and that's affecting everything that is, is going on right now. And one of the number one things I think affecting housing, and it's a hot topic, is the, politi the politicizing of density and of supply. And uh, David's been talking a bit vocally is, can the province and can the feds offer some political cover and get and offer um, some real incentives or solutions so that municipal governments can move ahead and offer the supply that's needed to tackle some of these problems out there.